Hello everybody. Today you're going to learn how to use and organize your dashboard inside your Suite CRM system. Additionally, we're going to look into which kind of dashlets you can place there and how to structure them in a good way so that it works smoothly for your day-to-day -day business. My name is Bastian Hammer, your go-to expert when it comes to all things CRM, marketing automation, e-commerce, and sales integration. Okay, so let's go. So I assume you've got your sweet CRM system set up and running already. You've got a couple of business processes implemented and you've got data which is being entered or generated. Now you want to make full use of your first loading your CRM system in the morning. So when you log in, the first thing that you see is your homepage and your dashboard. Now you want to get a quick overview of what's going to happen today or what is your high priority, your focus right now. So in order to do this, you can add and change dashlets here. Let's first look into what a dashlet is. So a dashlet is basically a representation of um, some data of those modules which exist in your CRM system. Check out my video on views and how to build these dashlets up, like what kind of what kind of um, columns you want to see here. So the standard looks some sort like this on so my activity stream. Here it shows mostly what happens in the whole um, company or like in over several modules. And then you've got my calls, my meetings, my top opportunities, my accounts. So if you want to change something, it seems like you want to filter or it doesn't fit properly. So for instance, one example would be in one project, we had like um, accounts is being used for competitors, for research, for partners as well, for suppliers and for customers. So here, if you're working in sales, you most likely want to see only the customers and not your competitors because this is for special research and then you would go into my account here you've got this edit cock wheel and you would click on this and then you can see already it's a little bit similar to the filters that you've got when you filter inside your list view so if you go to accounts and then you've got this list view and you can filter and drill down by what you want to see it got some more options auto refresh display rows and stuff like this because here we've got a special kind of list view and I want to filter by type. So the type should be a customer and nothing else for now, just in order to see this. And you can see, you can filter by several different things. You can even have two different dashlets and those dashlets show filter results of the same module, but with different filter settings and all sorts of things. You have to see what makes sense for your for your first view or if you go back to your home page, what's the, the quick overview that you want to get. So here I hit save and then you can see it's updated already. So now I've got only customers inside my accounts. So you can configure which columns you see via the list views, check out the other video. Then you can configure what you're going to see, like which rows by um, filtering and configure the, the settings here. But now maybe you want to see something else. Maybe you want to see your cases, your projects or whichever other modules you're working with. So and then in this case, you can click on the actions here and add a dashlet. So that's what we're going to do. And then there are several options which come predefined and you can just take those. Maybe you want to see my documents. So I add this one, my documents and I close it. And as you can see, there are no, not many documents, or like no documents so far. But if I would keep on adding documents and if these are important for you, then you will see them here as well. And the same happens again. So you can filter them here by let's say the status should be an active one or it should be like assigned to me only or like the category would be market uh, marketing or something. So it's quite flexible and you can build together your dashlets or your screen like you see fit 
and what makes most sense for you. The next thing that we're going to look into is the charts. So there are some pre-built charts for you, which you can use if you're working in the, the sales department, then maybe this one here makes sense, pipeline by sales stage. So this is a little bit of like sales forecast direction. So you've got prospecting, you've got qualification and stuff. So you see a little bit like, okay, this amount is currently in this stage and we'll know how to move it forward or like what's going to happen in one, two, three months, depending on how your how long your sales cycle is. So then you can drag and drop it in, in the order, whichever you like, so that it fits for you again. Next thing, tools. Well, my activity stream, you saw it already. Then there's something like notes, which I hardly use and sweet CRM news invaders, like a small game. So usually I've, I've never used them before other than the my activity stream and the jotpad was helpful once in a while, but it's very rare it was a, um, a project where sometimes people can call and you don't see the number on the display. So you don't know where um, which customer it is, so it won't be opened right away. And now you can start typing simply inside the Jotpad and make some notes there. But it's not very helpful uh, because you've got like unstructured data inside a note. So and then the other thing, um, here you can add websites. That is quite useful if you have some um, third party information that you want to integrate here. So I had a couple of projects already where we did this with uh, first a data warehouse and then a BI tool and the BI reports have been exposed into the internal network and we have been able to add those here. So you can see the statistics or like um, reports of a BI software, which goes much deeper than the charts or the reports that you can do here. So I can simply add my own website add and then it will add this dashlet and as you can see e-commerce marketing automation okay so here that's loading and now you've got my website there so just as an example this works and it's very useful if you have to integrate some external services microservice architecture comes to mind stuff like this so what else can you do here check out Additionally, those tabs here as well. So I had a several projects already where it makes sense if one person has two roles to have yeah, those roles built out here as well. So I could say like sales dashboard or just sales. Here the number of columns, very interesting as well. So sometimes you want to display them wider and sometimes very narrow data. So as you can see here, this one is quite a lot of empty space. Whereas here on, on this, we've got four columns or five columns even. Therefore, the space is not as much. So you could um, change it to three or one according to what you want to show here. So now I can add a new dashboard, which is the sales dashboard and now I can focus on everything sales related here. So for instance, there are the chart sales by um, sales pipeline and the outcome per month make a lot of sense. So we want to see those both because yeah, now we're in the sales department. But now I'm also working in the marketing department. So I can add like marketing or marketing dashboard. And here I want to see different on different things. For instance, it would be very interesting for me to see here on this tab, whether there is anything like, let's say there's anything broken with our website lead integration into our CRM system. So check out my video on data quality visualization inside your sweet CRM system, because there we do exactly this. And in order to build this, I have prepared a report and the report is called this one here and I've got the leads per day. And as you can see, 
Here we've got the leads per day. And now the marketing department can see, is our, our campaign successful? Do we have any problems or issues? Do we have to do more of these things? And how can we avoid days like that? So in order to, to customize your dashboard, you can really feel free to add all those dashlets that you've just seen. Try to drill down the data and have the, the right data displayed to the right role. So there's maybe like a sales role, a marketing role, a customer support role, like a project management role and uh, the CEO role. And then you can build up different dashboards and you've got like a quick overview of what's happening inside your company. So in order to, to get these, you need to have the data structure right. You need to enter the data and work with the data. And then eventually you will have like a real time insight in your company as you have never had with, um, let's say, Excel files or something before. So one more quick thing. If you run into any problems or if you want to reset it because it just went all like nowhere and you want to see something completely different, go back to the standard setup. It happened in several projects already. If you have very large reports or maybe even like a problem in the report that the whole dashboard won't be loading. So in order to avoid those things, you can go to edit your profile. And then on the top right, you've got the button reset homepage. Click this one and it's be, you're being asked, do you really want to do this? Yes, I want to. Now I go back to my homepage. And as you can see, everything is back to the standard. Here I've got my calls, my meetings, my activity stream, and all the tabs are gone as well. So just in case you need to do like a hard reset, it works. If you don't see anything for any reason, do the hard reset and you're back to yeah, where you started from and you can build up the report again according to your needs. Okay, let's quickly recap. We have added a couple of different dashlets, charts, tools and web pages to our dashboard. As well as, as well as different tabs to the dashboard. So you can organize maybe per role or you can organize per department, per process and make this data very visual to give you a quick overview, a quick insight into the most important things that you need to focus on right now. Thank you very much for watching. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye.